we go. We got Gopher here, guys. Say hello to Gopher, man. Hey, we appreciate you letting this video for uh, our YouTube and internet uh, fans. Is that okay with you? Yep. All right. I want you to tell us the story. I'm going to go quick down here. This is your knee, right? Yep. Do I see some scars on here from previous surgeries? No, well, they just poked it in here. Yeah, the scars. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Like right there and right Correct. there. Correct. All right, so you had an endoscopic procedure because what was the problem? Um, he said, I had the MRI and he said it was a torn meniscus, but then when he went in there, it wasn't. Okay, so they thought you had, on the MRI, he thought he saw a torn meniscus. Correct. I want to be sure we get this right. Correct. And when you went in to have the procedure, there was no torn meniscus, but no. there was another problem, right? Yes, he okay, said my kneecap was dislocated and there was a piece of muscle that was flapped over. Just the old dislocated kneecap Knee. story. Mm -hmm. All right, and, and so that was said, a year ago? Uh, about a year and a half, but it's around there, yeah, in right. that range. Mm -hmm. Now, did the pain go away? No. The pain did not go away when you fixed the dislocated kneecap, no, the folded up muscle thing, whatever it was. No. And you've been back to him, you're seeing him about once every six months. He's injected some cortisone in the knee. Correct. Did that help? No. No, it didn't. All right, because here's what I want to show everybody. Now, my man Gopher here, I want you just to relax your knee. Now, you're a little sore here. Right we there. expect mm -hmm. that because you've had the surgical procedure. Yeah, right. We expect you're going to have a little tenderness there. But watch this. Right there, yeah. That's where it, Has he not poked on that for yeah. you? He hadn't yeah, really yeah, done he it. has, and I tell him it hurts all the time. And he hadn't done anything about no. it yet. Right here. All right. Here and right up in here. But especially where we poke. Okay. Right. So here's what I'm going to tell you, my friend. <clears throat> if you've had surgery to fix knee pain and it still hurts, there's something wrong. Correct. All right. So today I'm going to give you a little soft tissue injection right there. Now there's one muscle in the body that crosses two joints. It's called the sartorius muscle. It originates up on the pelvis. It uh -huh. crosses the, the femur or the thigh and it comes down, inserts here at the tibia. Underneath the insertion tendon here is a small sac. It's a fluid filled sac called a bursa. Mm -hmm. You heard of a bursa before, right? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't matter. Most mm -hmm. people have it. Mm -hmm. Um, if that fluid-filled sac, which is there to help the tendon glide across the bone, mm -hmm. if it gets inflamed, it's a bursitis. That's where we get bursitis. You've heard of people having bursitis before. Yes. Okay. So I think you've got a soft tissue bursitis. I don't think that your current pain problem, now I don't know if this is the exact same pain you had from the, from the surgeon or not, but I think your bursitis is actually causing your pain. Okay. All right. So we're going to give you a little shot here. Hang on. You know Gonzo? Gonzo. That's me. Oh, I forgot my Gonzo necklace today. I'm sorry. Every day. All right. I'm going to hand off to Gonzo here. Then we're going to perform this little procedure for Mr. Gopher. I'm going to punch you first. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is Betadine. This is just an anesthetic, uh, excuse me, antiseptic that we're going to use to clean the skin for you, Mr. Gopher. Okay. Now I got to do the cheeks like this. <laughs> Gonzo, you used a fresh needle this morning? I did. It's always good to be the first patient of the day. You get, right. You're the first one to use the fresh needle. I saw her take it out of that red box right there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give out my secret. <laughs> All right, little Gonzo, let's get some cold spray. Mr. Gopher, no, what look, I want you to do is just relax, okay? Okay. So the top it one? We're gonna, it's going to sting a little bit, but we're going to spray this cold spray on here to help mitigate the pain. Little stick. Sticks. Sting. And this one's gonna burn. Breathe. We're gonna give you just about a half a cc. This has a little kenalog and it has a little bit of lidocaine plain. Uh, can I get his face expression? No. Fine. <laughs> you said no. He no. moved. He. Oh. You okay. You're done. Well, is it? Oh, that wasn't painful. It didn't hurt that bad, did it? No, it's just something. It feels, it feels ugly, but it didn't hurt. All right. Now we're gonna push on you a little bit here. Move that medicine in and around in there, and hopefully we got right into the bursa. Now, Move your leg. just stand up and walk on it. It does, doesn't feel, feels weird, different though. It doesn't hurt as much. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna start dancing, he's gonna break dance. Yeah, can you do a little, uh, you know, a little electric boogaloo or something for us? Well, I could if I knew how, but. Yeah. <laughs> bend all the way down and then stand back up. How's it feel now? It does, but the only the only thing is right still up here. Okay, where it pulls right there. Stop back, come back aboard here. I'll pull you that, pull that pant leg back. I'm going to show you a couple things. Okay, first of all, the pain you have different kinds of pain in your knee. Uh -huh. Remember we talked about you're going to have some pain because yeah. you've had this knee operated on. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be and and you had some shifting done. So Correct. you still need to rehab that if you haven't completely rehabbed from okay. the surgery. 
but the pain that you're getting from this down in here should mm -hmm. be gone now. Okay. It's a different kind of pain. Man, it doesn't, I don't feel it, but I just feel it right here. Yeah. Where I used to this, feel it here. When this, I would bend my knee, I would feel the pain here. And yeah. Here. Now I just feel it here. Okay. So that feel. pain's gone. Now you can isolate on working on the actual knee joint. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, thanks for letting us uh, share your story. I was hoping yeah. for a little more, you know, dramatic response. Yeah. No, well, actually, there was a response. Yeah. He just didn't let me record it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was good. Coconut loves Meta 7, okay? Why? Because, look, I could not get comfortable for anything last night. I went to sleep at 1 o'clock this morning, woke myself up around 5, and I have been knocking patients out all day nonstop, and I still have a whole mess of energy. Thank you, Dr. Gilmore, for making Meta 7. Okay, so you took Meta 7 this morning. Yeah, I and take it every just, morning. You take it every morning. And so even though you had a hard time sleeping last night, you took medicine this morning and now you are a medical assistant machine. I am a machine. I'm a tank. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks for the free testimonial. Thanks.